Afghanistan's biggest hydroelectric plant could soon be generating even more electricity. Rasul has kept the Kajaki power plant running for the past 36 years. He knows every piece of equipment in this plant designed and built by American engineers in the 1970s. He's looking forward to the upgrade. You know, this is analog, anything. Now analog's done, gone. Now we will replace by digital. The equipment is so old, there are no spare parts. Rasul shows me where they've had to improvise. The system requires constant monitoring. Those panels show for us where is the problem, uh, which line is short, which point is bad. We, uh, no, look. An electrical short in Sangin, 25 kilometers south, trips an alarm here. The power lines travel through areas where government forces and the Taliban are fighting. We're very close to the front lines, the dam just here, and this whole valley here is controlled by the Taliban. But they're not likely to try and interrupt the progress here because they want the power too. The Taliban takes about half of the 30 megawatts of power the plant generates. They are taking this, this power and uh, taking the text from uh, the people. The plant could generate an additional 18 megawatts of power when Turbine 2 is installed. 4,000 NATO soldiers moved the components of their turbine through Taliban-held areas in 2008 in a convoy four kilometers long. Since then, the enormous parts sit rusting near the plant. With the project now managed directly by the Afghan government rather than through the United States aid program, installation is expected soon. Local leaders say the upgrade could improve the security situation in the area. Installing this turbine would be bad for al-Qaeda terrorists, those enemies of the world. But it would be good for our government and the USA. It would show them they are working in Afghanistan. There are still many obstacles to overcome. This turbine shaft was stored improperly and may need to be replaced. But Rasul is convinced the upgrade will happen, and that this time next year he'll be learning to maintain modern equipment in this power plant built at the height of the Cold War. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kajaki, Helmand.